MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. James, Tadley Engineering looks like you're a very diverse company that do lots of different disciplines of engineering. Yeah, um, I'm an under the banner of mechanical engineering and manufacturing. We do a real mixed bag of machine parts, coated welded fabrication work, sheet metal work that you see a lot around you. Um, as well as press work, um, powder coating, and some electromechanical assembly as well. I mean, a lot of companies we go to will just do either the milling, the turning, or both of those, maybe a bit of grinding and EDM, but they don't get involved in those additional processes. That gives your company, obviously, a bit of an advantage. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, for us, the benefit is being as diverse as we possibly can. Um, obviously, try and operate as many different sectors as we can. So if one area goes quiet, there's another area that obviously remains relatively buoyant. So obviously, the strength is and the diversity of what we do. And Talking about that diversity, the reason we're here is obviously to look at your new Fanuc wire erosion machine, the, the C600. Why did you go for that machine? Well, we've had a wiring, wiring capability before, obviously with a Fanuc machine. Um, this was simply obviously an upgrading to the existing capability. Uh, very capable machine tool. Obviously, it's, it's a lot of synergy with obviously the press work we do and the tool design that we do. And obviously, a lot of the machine parts that we do have a, an initial stage where they require wire eroding or whether they have a particularly tight tolerance building on the existing capability just essentially adds uh, another string to our bow in that aspect. And the machine has obviously replaced an older machine, so there's a lot more sophistication with the machine. Has that given you an advantage in that area as well, now being able to maybe reduce operations on other machines? Yeah, definitely. I'd say um, one of the, the drawbacks of the previous machine is that every single hole or every feature that you require to wire aid, obviously you needed a pilot hole. Um, but obviously you need to be set up multiple setups for, for every single uh, hole that you are doing uh, or feature that you are doing. In this particular case, obviously you still need to have the pilot holes, but you can just, once you've pre-drilled all the holes, you can largely let the machine to run on its program and it will self-feed and uh, you know, obviously process the part a lot much quicker than the previous machine would do. And there is a lot of EDM machines out there or suppliers. Was Fanuc the machine you had before that you replaced or was there any particular reason you went with the Fanuc solution? Uh, I think. Again, it's largely we go with kind of what we knew. Um, and obviously, you know, the Fanuc machine have a good, you know, good reputation. We've never had any problems with them in the past, and um, they seem to have been to be fairly responsive in terms of, um, you know, obviously providing the providing the service to uh, to our company. So, happy with that. okay. Well, I'm going to go and meet with Michael, who's actually operator of the machine, and he's going to show us some of the parts that you've been making. Thanks for your time sure. today, James. No problem. Nice to meet you. Cheers. So Michael, you, you, you operate and program this Fanuc machine here. You're going to show us some parts that you're actually making. Can, yep. can we have a look? Yep, basically I've got various different parts all taken out of a profile block. Um, basically it's a clamping block off uh, some sort of um, aero type work at some point. Um, it's a clamping block for tube and tube extensions. And this is sort of a mechanism of a trolley that runs up and down various times um, and you're cutting all of these out of that block yeah just out of this aluminium um, like I said where they're so thin as you can see the even the off-cut sort of moves everywhere how were they being done before you had this machine uh, we wouldn't get the work as such so this machine is basically because you've you've either got the new work or you've got the machine and then you've got the new work we've got the new machine in um, Certain customers have asked, have asked us to do previous stuff like this. We didn't have the sort of uh, correct machine at the point. Now we've bought this, it sort of flies through. You know, every job's quite easy. And, and you're a young guy. You're obviously a CNC operator and, and programmer. Is it easy to pick up how to use one of these machines? Um, yeah, it's quite easy. We had about a day's training. By the time we had sort of gentlemen left, we were, yeah, we were there. Brilliant. And can you see, with the type of work that you're doing here, you've been able to pull work from around other machines in the company to bring them in onto the to the wire machine? Um, there are certainly machines that we we do do larger processes on, and uh, it's quite a large part that we sort of profile the outside and then send it back down to our machine shop for them to put holes into. And uh, the machine itself here, loading it, setting it, that easy enough too. Yeah, it's very easy. Yeah, a couple of minutes and you're sort of you're there pressing go. So in a, in a nutshell, you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a good machine. This, but well, very good machine actually. 
quite enjoy it. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.